Nerida, at Close the Loop, you're very well known as a company for collecting millions of printer cartridges and recycling them. The plastic is quite easy to recycle, but toner waste has proved a bit elusive when it comes to finding a recycling solution. What was the thinking that led to you turning that toner waste into a high quality asphalt road covering? Close the Loop's mantra is zero waste to landfill. So after 13 years of innovation, we've finally been able to get rid of what has been deemed as a waste product. So toner is then modified as a modified toner polymer and put into toner pipe. It's a fantastic solution of a normal product that is deemed a waste that everyone particularly burns instead of reusing. You've partnered with the Downer Group to take this recycled toner waste and put it into high quality asphalt road covering. There's sometimes a perception that a recycled ingredient like this won't create quite as good a quality product. What do you say to that? It's better. It's better. There's a misconception that waste isn't as good as the virgin polymers. It is. Downer Group is your partner in this project, selling this to councils and other people who used it for road covering. What's the commercial benefit for them? Are they the only ones selling this? They are. That gives them the competitive edge in the marketplace whereby they have a low carbon footprint product, an environmentally friendly product, and it allows them to gain more traction within the local councils. In addition to using toner waste, what other kind of waste ingredients have you been able to use in this asphalt road covering? MTP, or toner waste, is a patented product. So I can't tell you everything that's in it, but I can actually say that there are waste oils in there. And there's also ground tire rubber that goes into a part of these. So we try and use as many recycled components as what we can to create the best product possible. Cancels are a key customer in this marketplace when it comes to road coverings. Have you had any interest from councils in this product? So we've had over 15 different councils across Australia buy this product so far. City of Sydney uh, laid a large amount of road late last year and they had fantastic results from it. How important was it for you to find a partner like Downer Group to actually get this to market? Crucial. We can make the product, but we need someone else to be able to lay the road. So having that synergy between the two companies was a major milestone and, and a crucial step for us. How many tonnes of cartridge waste and waste oils have you actually been able to use in this asphalt road covering? So, so far we've laid 145,000 tonnes of toner pave. So this is the equivalent to a Sydney to Newcastle return trip or 9 million cartridges. In addition to selling this product in Australia, what kind of interest have you had overseas? Late last year we did our first car park in the US, in Kentucky, and they gained fantastic traction from that. And we've already had interest into the European market so far. So we want to try and really drive this hard overseas as well as here. Now we're known as the clever country. This is a very clever idea that you've come up with. What's the potential to license this technology overseas? Huge. This is what we're aiming for. And this is one of the driving factors why we wanted to get it right here. We wanted to push forward overseas. And we've had a lot of our OEM partners be very interested in getting this traction overseas as well. So it's encouraging that they want it just as much as what we want it.